Welcome to a new episode of Animal of the Week. Today's video is not a single animal, but rather a whole group of similar looking and related animals. Antarctic amphipods are some of the strangest and most alien looking animals I've ever seen, but I assure you these are very real. These make up the family Empimeridae, a family of amphipods found in colder oceans of the planet. Though they are crustaceans and look very similar to shrimp or prawns, they are in a completely different order from the likes of shrimps, prawns, lobsters and crabs, as these are decapods, not amphipods. The main difference between decapods and amphipods being that amphipods don't possess a carapace, whereas a decapod does. The carapace is the large upper section of the body that generally houses the head. These Antarctic amphipods don't have this. As the name suggested, the Antarctic amphipods tend to live in waters surrounding Antarctica. This is true for most species of Epimeridae, but not all. Some have been found in the Indian Ocean and even as far as the Mediterranean. However, when in these more warm waters, they are only found deep down in the benthic regions of the oceans where the water is at its coldest. In all areas of the globe where they are found, they are benthic dwellers, meaning in some areas they might live in the abyssopelagic zone of the ocean if it's deep enough. This is all because they enjoy very cold water, as it's generally more nutrient rich. Some species live in wide ranges, but others can be confined to individual black smokers or seamounts that provide very specific conditions for them to live in. Being rather small, only 0.8 to 8 centimetres long depending on species, means that they don't have the greatest options when it comes to feeding, but they have gotten very inventive. Due to the large nature of the family with 80 different species, diets are wide ranging. Some species have to rely upon suspension feeding and filtering plankton out of the water in order to survive. Other species are scavengers, eating bits of much larger dead animals like whales or sharks that have fallen to the bottom of the ocean. Others are specifically predators, hunting small crustaceans like brittle stars or sponges. Some are even specially adapted to only eat hydroids, the deep sea animals that resemble plants. And even more interesting is that one species, Epimeridae parasitica, as the name suggests, feeds like a parasite, attaching itself to sea cucumbers and feeding off them. The wide variety of Antarctic amphipods means there will of course be some differences in breeding techniques from individual species, however the general gist is as follows. The female releases hormones into the water to alert males of her fertility. The female will hold eggs in a brood pouch while the male fertilises them, and then the eggs will stay in the brood pouch until ready to hatch. Once hatched, they are already developed enough to be in their juvenile stage, there is no larval stage. As the young grow, they will molt a few times, sometimes even eating their own molted exoskeleton. The juveniles tend to latch onto their mothers until they are large enough to survive by themselves. As a female ages, usually her egg batch will become larger and larger, which is good as around 20 to 50% of her eggs won't survive. There isn't really much to say on specific adaptations that the Antarctic amphipods possess. They simply possess all the general adaptations one would expect from deep sea crustaceans. Gills, strong exoskeletons, plenty of legs to swim with, sensory organs in their head, an antenna to detect prey through taste, and compound eyes that are excellent at tracking prey in low light environments. The thing that really makes them unique is just their bizarre appearance, which is different from other crustaceans like shrimp because their heads are fused to the thoraxes in instead of being contained inside a carapace, giving them the stunted, short-necked appearance. These things can be eaten by almost literally anything, as there really isn't much they can do to stop that. Being so small in such a big ocean means anything from fish to other crustaceans to mollusks to marine mammals will eat them if they get the chance. Being such deep sea dwelling creatures and living in some of the most remote waters on the planet means that humans really don't have much of an impact on them. We don't generally fish them or eat them as they have very little commercial value as shrimp and prawns are easier to catch and to be honest shrimp and prawns look a lot more edible than Antarctic amphipods, but that might just be my opinion. As a whole there is much we don't know about the Antarctic amphipods, and living in the deep oceans means we really have no clue about their population sizes, as some species seem fairly common and others rarer. The species that are found only in specific habitats like sea mounts and black smokers are probably the ones to worry about, as they require these very specific habitats to survive, and so any changes could be devastating. 
Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.